All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Baha'u'llah, which Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and the Rakhakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach you all the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And today I want to get into a lesson on how we're supposed to be treating our bodies well. All right. And, you know, two things that affect us, okay, is our diet and our exercise. Okay. And, you know, first off, you know, you brothers out there, you should be eating well. Okay. Your diet should consist of. You know, many greens, all right, uh, you know, vegetables, fruits, different herbs, okay? You know, when you uh, cook your meats, you should try to, um, you know, bake them, you know, grill it. Now, there's nothing wrong with, you know, frying your food, okay? But I'll say this, um, you should try to keep that at a bare minimum. And the reason why is because when you fry your foods, all right, that's going to, um, that's going to affect your heart, okay, and your arteries, okay? And look, you want to, um, first off, of course, a, a healthy heart, okay? And you definitely don't want your arteries clogged. You want, you know, your blood flowing through your system, okay, easily, all right? You see? I said there's nothing wrong with having it a little here a little there but you know try to keep that down to a bare minimum all right if, hey, if you're gonna have snacks all right instead of eating chips and you know eating different you know cookies and ice creams etc they try to eat more you know nuts and uh, uh, uh fruits okay if these things are you know beneficial to you you know, uh, different nuts actually uh, um, help with your brain. Hey, to be honest, you know, straight up, it affects your t testosterone, all right, levels. Okay, it'll raise it up. You know, hey, these fruits, you know, they they um, they curve that um, that craving for you know sugars because they 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 got natural sugar in it. You know, and then it, depending on what fruit you eat, it it, it, it um. You know, will uh, uh, benefit your heart, you know, your muscles, okay, so on and so forth, you see? So be very mindful of what you're, you know, you're eating, okay? And then secondly, you know, brothers need to make sure that they're working out, all right? You know, get up and move. You know, the Apostle uh, Gabar was um, heavy on that. Uh, a couple months back you know he he was a uh, 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 overweight according to what he was saying and the apostle tahar you know got on him about it and so he started biking started moving around and you know he was on a um a heavy uh health tip for you know like two months straight and then other brothers were touching on that subject as, uh, as well you know so brothers get out there walk go bike you know, go jogging. And uh, just a side note, um, if you're going to jog, try to um, be on some type of um, some type of path that has gravel, all right, or dirt, okay? Because you don't want to be jogging on this concrete. That'll affect your, uh, your joints, and it's not good, all right? You know, uh, hit those weights. Do explosive exercises. You know, a lot of brothers know this, all right, but for those who don't do these things, Cause look, um, like I was telling the one brother, he's a little bit older, and he's got um, he had a uh, he has a uh, sometimes you know some issues with his body, or with his body, and um, I was asking him about you know his uh, diet and his um, you know and his exercising, and uh, he was saying his diet's fine, but he doesn't exercise as much, and he was saying he was walking, but I told him I said look, 
you can't just walk you have to um get that heart rate elevated you know you basically got to sweat and i'll say this sweating is 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 great for you okay that gets a lot of toxins out okay now getting that uh, um that heart rate up uh, um it strengthens your body that's why they call it what strengthening and conditioning you know in the exercise world and those exercises are you know like i said very explosive okay that's gonna get you you know it's gonna make you you know like i said strong and that, you know, it'll help out, you know, with uh, um, with how long you last, all right? Basically meaning you're not going to get tired, you have stamina, all right? And just a uh, reminder, hey, brothers, you know, we come from a nation of warriors. You know, you look at our, um, our forefather, Abraham. Look at our forefather, you know, Jacob. And we look at Samson, King David. The prophet, you know, Nehemiah, etc. These were warriors. You look at the Maccabees. These were men of valor. They weren't weak. You know, and we got to... Um, uh, uh, um, basically go back to our heritage. You know, we, we, we're relearning things. You know, we're relearning uh, how to eat. You know, how to be masculine. So on and so forth. All right? But uh, let me start off with this scripture here in Sirach chapter 30, verse 14. It says, Better is the poor being sound and strong of constitution. Let me get this real quick. That word constitution. All right. And um, this is from uh, etymonline.com. And this is the etymology of the word constitution. Okay. And it says, or it says constitutional, which, you know, those two things uh, um, are the same, basically. All right. And it says here, it's from the 1680s and it says pertaining to a person's physical or mental constitution and it says meaning beneficial to bodily constitution all right now let's look up this word constitution and one of the uh, d definitions is basically um, things that are uh, arranged Okay, that's an order. All right, so basically, you know, you having a strong, a strong and sound, sound, uh, it's so like a, a sound and strong of constitution, meaning that you got yourself in order. Okay, that you're on point. You know, with your body, and also first off, your mind. But right now, since we're you know talking about uh, our bodies, you know, I'm gonna uh, uh, highlight that. You know, you, you can't be lazy. You know, you can't be treating you, you know, your body like shit, basically. Eating everything in sight. Have some goddamn discipline, man. Another thing, too, uh, uh, like I was telling brothers, they need to go on more fast. Now, first off, it's for the spiritual aspect. And uh, also, secondly, it's for your, you know, um, for the f uh, physical um, benefits. You know? When you go on a fast, it, it basically... Re uh, it detoxes you okay because like i was telling brothers um well really it started off with the, uh, the elder brother shikaria he was mentioning about gut health and how um you know brothers gotta um take care of their guts all right which a side note just if uh, brothers don't know this the majority of diseases, like a good like 90%, 95%, I, for, I forgot how much it is. It's it's a huge number of uh, um, diseases actually start off in the gut. So if you have um, a terrible, you know, gut health, you're more than likely going to get sick. So make sure you're eating, you know, things uh, like yogurts, all right, kombucha, you know, different um, different foods that... That uh, clean out the gut, all right. Does that help out a lot? But um, another thing that I mentioned, you know, when I was laying backing off uh, uh, the brother, I said, you know, I can need a fast because, um, if you don't know this, you have a lot of excess waste, all right. That's um, that's uh, on your intestines, and it needs to get flushed out, all right, from time to time, you know. And fasting helps out. That gets a lot of um, 
a lot of excess waste out and then there's different um different herbs that, that, that that's uh um that targets all right and getting waste out and you know you should uh, uh should try to uh, uh do these different fasts and detoxes from time to time okay you see let me keep reading it says be better is the poor being sound and strong of constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body health and good estate of body are above all gold and a strong body above infinite wealth okay you see this stuff is better than um any type of riches okay because look you have people out there that have all this money but they're in and out of the, uh, of the hospital and, and they're they're, they're living a, a, a terrible life, you know? It's better to be poor and have a good body, being healthy. See? It says, there is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the heart. Death is better than a bitter life or continual sickness. And you can ask, you know, these people who have... um you know chronic you know illnesses and a lot of them you know after a certain point they just want to die you know they just want to die you know you got the uh, uh people who have you know sickle cell all right that's a terrible uh, uh disease you know i know um those who have it they got to get uh, you know blood transfusions they get um excruciating you know pain throughout their body that's uh, almost unbearable you know, you got, uh, you know, certain people who have, uh, um, they, they've had, you know, uh, uh, you know, issues with their stomach and their gut. And now they got to uh, use the washroom through, you know, through a bag. You know what I mean? This stuff is terrible. You know, those are just some things I can think of right now. People who are, you know, paraplegic, don't even have any limbs. You see? That's why we can't take for granted what we you know what the Lord gave us. Like I said, you know, eat healthy and um and exercise. All right, let me get two scriptures that uh, came to mind right now when I said that. Let's get um let me get this. It says uh talks about um, having care for your meats. I think that's how it's worded. Um yeah, let me get this. Let me see if I can find find it. Cause there's a few in Sirach. I just can't remember how it's worded. Here we go. Here we go. This is the one I wanted. This is a uh, Sirach 30 and 25. A cheerful and good heart will have care of his meat and diet. Okay. Look, if you're in this truth, you're gonna be very mindful of a. Uh, um, your intake, okay, of your diet. You see? And I'll say this too. Even uh, uh, with meat, sometimes it's good to go on a um, on a fast for meat. It doesn't have to be long. You know, let's just say a week, a couple days, whatever, you know. You, uh, I do this from time to time where... I may do a day or two where I just, you know, just eat, you know, basically the veggies and, and, and fruits. I won't eat any meats just to, you know, cleanse myself. Because, uh, you know, um, meats are very heavy, okay, on the body, in particular red meat, you know, that beef, that bison, okay. But it doesn't matter. It could be chicken, fish. Sometimes you just got to, you know, uh, stay away from that for a little bit. Hey, remember, uh, it talks about a, 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 um, that vegetarian diet in, um, in Daniel. You know? 
So sometimes, you know, you got to switch things up. You know, we, look, we can't be, you know, just some basic NPCs in Babylon. You know what I'm saying? Can't be like these people who who just stuff their face all the goddamn time. You know, we, we got to be, you know, um, at, um, you know, we have to, uh, for lack of words, be on a high level. Okay? Let me get this real quick. In um, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8, For a bodily exercise profited little. And you see, working out and doing doing these things are um, are beneficial. Alright? It does have, um, or it does profit. So that's why Jake should be getting out there. Especially right now, it's summertime, you know? Spring going into summer. You know, Jay can't use the excuse, oh, it's too cold. And even then, they, they, that, that's an excuse. Go out there and move, man. I don't care if it's cold. Layer up. Trust me. Hey, if you're going on a jog, all right, and it's wintertime, you're not going to feel that cold like that. Now, of course, if it's, you know, bitter cold, something that's negative, you know, degrees out here, yeah, you know, be mindful. Stay inside and, you know, do your exercises. But if it's like 20, 30 degrees out, yeah, you can go for a jog. You, If there's no snow out there, like you can actually go for a bike ride. I see it out here in Chicago. You have people that legit do these things, you know. It's not crazy. You know, you know people talk shit about it, but it's really not. Then it builds up um, a tolerance to the cold. All right. Oh, another thing too is just a side note. It make your body uncomfortable. All right, because actually, um, um, if you do a little bit of research, I, I have to you know pull things up. But if you um, you know, uh, what do they call? It? Do uh, those ice plunges? Take cold showers. You know, you're out there in the cold. You know, during the winter, it actually has a huge um benefit to your health i know it builds up your immune system all right um it does something with your muscles i forgot what it uh, what it does but th there's a couple things that it, that it uh helps with okay you see like i said you have to check it out yourself i can't remember every you know little thing that it does for you but i'm just trying to make a point you know there's really no excuses okay just get out there. <laughs> That's the main thing. But let me keep reading. But godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of life that now is and of that which is to come. All right. But the main point is, you know, that first part of the scripture for bodily exercise profited little, you know. So you have Jake, you know, they'll, you you know, say, you know, oh, we're going to get our new bodies anyways. You know, we, it's okay. You know, we, we don't have to do this, do that. Nah, man. Nah, get out there. That's a weak mindset. That's very effeminate, actually. Get out there and, and put some work in. Okay, let me, um... Let me get this. Um... Man, you could just type in Mighty Men and Valor and... You know, several scriptures come up. You know, it talks about our forefathers, the mighty men uh, of valor, all these different tribes. You know, like I said, you you think these men were weak? You know, they had a, you know a, a beer belly. Think they were huffing and puffing after walking a, a mile? You know what I'm saying? You don't think these men could, could do a bunch of pull-ups and push-ups? No, they, 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 they were active. They were running. They, they, they were uh, climbing over fences. They, 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 they were fighting, you know, beasts, man. Lions. Bears. You know what I'm saying? In order to do these things, you got to be in shape. You see? But, um, 
I'm going to end this lesson. You know, it's just a little quick one, a little quick exhortation. It was something that was on my mind. I said, uh, I had, um, maybe I didn't mention it, but, um, you know, the one brother, he was, uh, having some issues and I ended up talking to him. We had a, we we're going back and forth on a couple things and, um, you know, it made me think about, you know, brother's health. And through the spirit, you know, this lesson came out. So whoever was listening, hopefully you ratified and, you know, just make sure you know you're uh, you're eating well, you're eating right, and uh, you're getting out there and uh, exercising. Like I said, you don't have to be a bodybuilder, but you know you you shouldn't be overweight. You shouldn't be um, lazy. All right, Jake should be able to do you know some push-ups, some pull-ups, hit some weights. You know, hey, this is my opinion. Hey, Jake should be able to jog a mile, man. You know. Between 10 and 15 minutes. Now, of course, if you know, if you're just starting off, you know, of course, it may take you some time. But I'm just saying, you know, you should you should be able to do these things. All right. You know, like I said, just just get, just get active. All right. And with that, you know, hopefully this was edifying. With that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto you, Hallelujah, Shmuel, Al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all your brothers out there. Shalom.